Today we are going to talk about the difference between network bonding and cellular bonding. First, I'll talk about the difference between network bonding and cellular bonding. So what is a cellular bonding? You are probably familiar with the cellular data on your phone, right? Cellular bonding takes multiple cellular connections, like from your mobile or dedicated cellular modems, and bonds them together into one. This is your go-to or on-the-move streaming when conventional internet isn't within reach. On the flip side, we've got network bonding. Picture this, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and those cellular connections we're talking about are joining forces like a superhero team. Network bonding combines different types of connections to create a single powerhouse connection, providing the speed and resilience your live stream deserves. So what's the real difference between network bonding and cellular bonding? I'll tell you, it's about your needs, environment, and yes, your budget. Network bonding might require more upfront infrastructure, and it's all about long-term power. Cellular bonding, however, is more about cost-effective flexibility, especially if you are streaming from different dynamic locations. Whether it's network bonding or cellular bonding, Yolo Live has your back. Yolo Live's network bonding can aggregate multiple communication links, including 4G LTE, Wi Fi, Ethernet, and a USB dongle. This will dramatically increase the reliability and the bandwidth of live streams, provides a safety cushion against network failure, balance network traffic across all bonded interfaces ensuring that even in challenging network conditions and the remote locations and the stream goes on. Now we have three bonding plans to meet your different needs. Any payment issues, contact us at hazelher at yololive.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.